In today's uh, Simple Nick video, I'm going to show you how to repair a tear in a leather seat. So it goes from this to this. First of all, to repair it, you need to buy a kit, a repair kit. As always, if you want more details of the kit I chose and details about it, go on uh, www.simplenick.com and you'll see the, the article on repairing the seat and details of my um, kit. Um, Lots of bits in the kit, it comes with sandpaper. I mean the key thing about it, there's a couple of bits, is uh, this, this piece of material is for actually repairing the cut. So the whole idea is you put it underneath and glue the lever to the material. But on, on closer inspection, if I look at mine, the actual uh, cloth underneath is in really good condition. So. In theory I could cut it, put another piece underneath and glue it, but that doesn't make any sense at all. So, but what I will do, because as I look at it, there's a couple of bits that are a little bit uh, sticking up. So I'm going to use the glue and just glue some of these, these bits that are a little bit loose. So, using the leather glue, uh, it remains flexible when dry and will not turn hard or brittle. Right, okay, let's give this a go. And what I'm going to do is I've got another little small pallet knife here. I'm going to use that to apply the glue. Where else is it? Yeah, that might be better. While you were gone, I just used a trusty hair dryer to dry that glue. Gave it a few minutes. It's a quick drying glue. So the next thing is to actually uh, fill the crack. So with that, we fill it with some uh, filler. I'm going to scrape off as much of the excess as I can. So, I've just dried that with a hair dryer. Well, it's lovely and warm. Uh, I don't know about you, but I think that looks awful. But let's bear with it. Um, so you can see how bad the, the tear was there. Not so easy getting some of this stuff out of the grain. Um, so now I need to add some more. It's still a little bit low here. So I'll add some more. Uh, do the same process again and then um, give it a hairdryer again. So I've been going now about 20 minutes. I think I've done a good job filling the hole in, but as I say, it looks awful at the moment. It's like all these jobs, you just need to have faith. Just keep going with it. I'm trying to picture what it looked like afterwards. And I know what it looked like before. I'm pretty convinced this is going to look better than what it looked like before. Right, while you've been gone, I've given it a third coat. I still can't make in mind I've to put a, third, a fourth one on, but I think I'll leave it at that. It's had a third coat. Uh, I've also sanded it down. I need to clean it up first. And I've hair dried it, so it's looking quite good actually in the sense of it's moving and flexible, which is obviously what you want. Because that's the one thing I was worried about, will it just crack again? It looks to be quite flexible, which is really good. So the next thing I need to do is colour it. And for that I bought a, a colouring kit. Uh, this is a black kit. And if I can get the lid off. So it comes with a, a base coat and then various tints, a red, a blue and a white to get the right colour, grey or dark, yeah, dark grey or black. And then you've got some uh, cleaner and a couple of um, uh, finishes, i.e. to get it matte or gloss. So I will now mix up this uh, black in a little pot and I will apply it around uh, the front of the the seat where it can't be seen until I've got the right colour and then when I've got the right colour I'll then start I've also cleaned the seat with alcohol to make sure there's no um, you know the surface is really clean so now I'm sort of ready to start um, putting it on so this is the scary bit so um, <laughs> let's go let's do it so I'm using a cotton bud Oh, 
Oh, I don't know. I don't know. What do you reckon? Okay, not so convinced myself. I'm not sure that really is the right colour. But what I really need to do is put the hair dryer on it and let's take it from there. So let's just quickly dry it. Well, I don't know about you, but that looks too dark to me. So I need to tin this down because it still looks awful. <laughs> Probably looks worse than we did before. So, don't give up. Okay, this is taking me longer than I was expecting. It's not easy mixing the colours. So originally I said I was going to do this in an hour. Well, we're an hour and 10 minutes now, so we're 10 minutes over. But I think I'm sort of getting there. I'm quite happy with this colour. In certain lights, in certain angles, it's brilliant. In other sizes, doesn't look so good. I think a lot of that is to do with the, it still has a shine on it. So we can, um, we got the stuff to dole it down. But let me, um, let me just finish off doing this, um, this piece. I'm gonna use a cotton bud, I think. Okay, you're probably thinking, mm, not so, so impressed, but let's just put the hairdryer on in a minute and see what it looks like after that. Right, okay, that's that. As I say, pretty shiny, but if I take the shine off, it should be near enough uh, a match, I think. Okay, now down the bottom bit, that's looking a lot better. Um, now, the only depressing thing was, I am... Um, after I'd done that, I thought, well, I read the instructions, because obviously this is shiny and this is matte. So he said, um, apply the, the matte finisher direct on top. So I did that just here to try it out. And it's, it's matte all right, but then it's all got in the grain. It just looks terrible. So what I've now gone and done is taken my original mixture, mixed the, the matte solution in it, I'm going to apply it and well let's see what happens. That's me now finished the bottom one, dried it so it's matte as well so I'm really pleased with that. Pleased and not pleased. Uh, I think it's, it's certainly a lot better than it was before. Um, I think since I put the you know, the matte solution inside the inside the colour in it's lightened it because it is a, a sort of milky white colour. So I'm sort of thinking mm, is it now too light? Certainly in certain lights it's fantastic, in other lights it's not so good. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to leave it at this, leave it for a week, see how it goes, see if it you know, starts wearing, um, you know, once you get a bit of wear on it, will it, will it change and, and blend in. Um, so that's it really. So actually I lied, I said I'd do it in an hour and actually it took me an hour and 50 minutes. Most of that was to do mixing the colour which took a lot longer than I expected and I'm still not convinced. So now, as I say, in different lights, it's all different. And this is what it looks like seven months later. Uh, no changes from when you, you saw a few seconds ago and there's literally how it's worn and what it looks like seven months later. Um, if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more of my videos, then subscribe to my uh, channel in the corner here or um, check out my website, www.simplenick.com and uh, thank you for viewing.